Brian and Glenda, this is shaping up to be very, very contentious. The chairman of the Police and Fire Pension Board says this is war, and that's because the two city employee pension funds are the biggest creditors. They are owed three and a half billion dollars. The emergency manager speaking here this morning confirms that his law firm, Jones Day, his former law firm, will stay on as chief legal counsel in this process beyond this fall. They will lap up tens of millions of dollars in legal fees, but he says that's a discount rate and he is not apologizing. Attorneys have been around a long time doing that work, and some who represent the creditor community. In fact, I've actually worked with them and against them. They're not pulling their punches, first of all. So I need the A team on board, pulling, getting prepared to represent this city with $18 billion. If you look at it relativistically, you look at it whether it's $50 million or $75 million relative to the amount of debt, it's a very small pot, but it's real money to real people. Now, the emergency manager also says he expects creditors to line up to challenge this process in bankruptcy court. There could be up to a 90-day review. I can tell you that union leaders with Detroit Police and Fire had a strategy meeting this morning with legal counsel to plan their next move. The emergency manager says he expects a battle in and out of court. It'll be a contest, and some of our stakeholders have, will follow that game trail. Um, you know, I've read their playbook. Uh, there'll be calls about how unfair it is, and it's biased, and then there'll be calls for people to take to the street and object. And you guys have heard this resonance, this harmonic again and again and again. Frankly, uh, in this environment, um, it's a little tired. Now, we also told you this was a race to the courthouse that the two employee pension funds, as well as several employees, sued in state court to stop this Chapter 9 filing. They did not get that done in time. We're hearing they may try to go to state court and get an order still to stop it. But the state treasurer, Andy Dillon, who is an attorney, says that likely will not work. It has to be addressed, but I, it's my understanding that federal law, once they have the case, the state laws are, you know, subordinate to it. So I, I'd be very surprised if uh, it had any impact on the filing. Now, the governor, the emergency manager, and the state treasurer hope to get this all done within a year. That's going to depend on how tough the fight is, who is the judge. The request has gone in for an appointment. We don't know who that will be, whether he or she will be from Michigan or another state, but that judge will indeed set the schedule. And how deep is this going to get? Already, 20 attorneys have filed their appearances to challenge this in court. We are live in Midtown. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And you know, Jim, E.M. Orr has maintained that he's kept the line of communication open that negotiations are still possible. He's talking about that today. In fact, he said that he'd like to get a few representatives appointed from the employee groups so they can still uh, keep on with these discussions. Just because they filed in Chapter 9 doesn't mean those end. In fact, the bankruptcy judge will encourage those discussions, but right now they're at a stalemate. All right, Jim, thanks so much for the live report.